Today we discuss about the pointers. So pointers, pointers, pointer is a kind of variable. That variable can hold address of another variable. That is pointer variable point another variable. Such variable called as pointers. Variable uh, ordinary variable can uh, store only one value at a time. Ordinary variable can hold, can store only one value at a time. Uh, for example, integer a equal to 25. So that a value is assigned to a, uh, 25 is assigned to a. Then uh, we assign uh, 30 to a. That is a equal to 30. The existing value 25 is replaced by 30. So only one value can store in ordinary variable. But array variable can store more value at a time. Uh, if we declare integer a of 10. So it allocates 10 locations, 10 integer location, each location can hold one integer value. So in that, uh, it is a single uh, array variable, that is integer a of 10, a is a one variable name, only one variable, but that variable can hold 10 values, that is integer a of 10. So this is array variable, so ordinary variable can hold only one value at a time, array variable can hold more value at a time, but pointer variable can store address of variable at a time. Pointer variable is a kind of variable that variable can store address of another variable. For example, integer a equal to 25. A, uh, a is an integer variable. So it occupies 2 bytes. So it is a 2 bytes. This is a location for a. This is a location name. 25 is a value at location. That 700 is a address. So each and every byte has integer address. So that address is assigned by operating system at the time of booting this kind of processing is called memory management so at the time of computer booting um, by using any one operating system for example uh, windows windows operating system it read complete memory that is main memory ram memory for example 4 gp in our uh, for uh, computer uh, 4 gp main memory so that 4 gp uh, it accessing 4 gp 4 gp mean um, that is it converted into bytes so for approximately 4 GP into 1024 in 1000. So into the 4 GP into 1000. It is a MP. If we multiply by the again 1000. It is KB. Again 1000 it is bytes. So each byte uh, operating system assign a integer. Address. Integer value as address. For each and every location. Each and every byte of byte of the RAM memory. So at the time of compilation, C compiler ask two bytes. If we declare integer a equal to 25, the time of compilation, then execution. At the time of execution, the, the compiler ask two bytes from operating system because operating system is the whole responsible for the memory management. So uh, uh, at the time of execution, compiler ask two bytes for a variable. So operating system allocate the available the free memory. So it has some occupied and un 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 unoccupied memory that managed by operating system. So it allocates free memory, uh, two bytes memory to variable A. So this is a variable name. This is the value at location. This is that address. That address is not given by programmer. So it, it, it is given by operating system at the time of memory allocation. That address managed by operating system. So 700 is here address for one byte but internal operation compiler take only 700 if it is integer type so it continuously take two bytes that is 700 and 701 suppose it, it is a float the address is 700 but it continuously take four bytes if it is a float 700 701 702 703 so this is a ordinary variable integer a equal to 25 a is a variable name 25 is a value at location, 700 is a address given by operating system at the time of execution. So integer star b, this is a pointer variable. If we put star before the variable, this is pointer variable. This variable is a pointer variable. It can hold address of another variable. Example b equal to and a. b equal to and a. So ampersand symbol represent the address of variable. So ampersand symbol rep represent the address of variable. So and a. That is address of A. What is address of A? 700 is the address of A. That 700 is assigned to B. This is a B location. So integer star B, it allocates two bits of memory. It may be an integer pointer variable or float pointer variable. It, it, it may be any type of pointer variable. 
that has only two bits because all letters are in integer format all integer pointer variable can store address so all all address are in integer format so the all pointer variable size should be two bytes so b size is two bytes so that is 800 b equal to and a that and a mean that is address of a what is address of a 700 that 700 is assigned to b so b is a location name in that b is a pointer variable pointer variable this location is eligible to store address so if we assign uh, and a that address 700 is assigned to b as address so 800 is the address of b that is each and every very variable that is it may be a pointer variable or ordinary variable it requires some uh, memory space that memory space is uh, allocated by operating system uh, at the recursion of compiler at the time of execution at the time of execution so b equal to and a that address of a is assigned to 700 that 800 is the address of b b address is 800 so here we assign address of a to b that 700 is assigned to b so this is a pointer variable in the time of at the time of declaration if we put star before the variable that variable called as pointer variable in this example that is integer a it is a ordinary integer variable so it uh, occupy two bytes of memory by the help of operating system at the time of execution so the then we assign uh, for example if we assign a equal to 54 that value 54 is assigned to a so a is a location name 54 is a value at location 200 is a address so here float b this is a float variable so it occupy four bytes that four byte is allocated by operating system at the time of execution of c compiler so it occupy four bytes so it also has some address that is a, this is an integer one 200 201 is a this location address it occupy two bytes but for internal operations it take only first address first byte address 200 here also it take only 400 is a first byte address but it is a float variable it requires four bytes so each and every byte has a address so 400 401 402 403 that four bytes uh, addresses are addresses for b variable b uh, if we assign b equal to 67.56 that value is assigned to in b uh, 5467.56 are all stored in internally binary form only for our example we uh, take a decimal value but internally it stored as binary so it is a location um, this is a location value uh, 400 is the address this is another type character c so c is a location name say allocate only one byte because the size of character is one byte so it allocate one byte it also has some address so the 700 but it access only one byte so the 700 is the address so one byte the size of address is uh, one bytes so it is a value at location for example c if we put c equal to within a single quote we put star that star is assigned to c but the star is not directly uh, not uh, directly assigned as a symbol it, it converted into ascii format it is stored in only binary binary in internally for our uh, easy understanding we put directly integer float character so these are the different data types but each and every data type address are in integer format only integer variable address also in integer float variable address also in integer character uh, um, variable address in also in integer the value only differ integer value so without decimal point this one is a with decimal point a letter uh, that is an alphabet or a symbol or a numeric digits within single quote is a character so we put only one so addresses of all type of data types all addresses of all all data types is in integer address of all data type of a variable is in integer it may be integer variable or float variable or double character it may be any any kind of data type but that address is in integer format only so integer a just if, uh, we assign a equal to 54 uh, a is a location uh, 54 is a value at location 200 is uh, is assigned by uh, operating system at the time of execution that is 200 so uh, amber symbol is address so if you want to get address of a variable just we put ambersen symbol uh, to prefer the variable name so ambersen symbol is the address of variable if you want to get address of a variable just we put ambersen symbol before the 
variable. We can uh, get the address of variable. And then the star. Star represents the value at address. If we have address, we want to get the value of the address. Just we put the star before the address. So star represents the value at address. So ampersand represents the address of variable. So that star has uh, different meaning. If we declare at the time of declaration, if we put star before the variable, that variable is a pointer variable. At the time of accessing, that is assigning, and then print of calculation, equation, and then these, area, uh, these areas are accessing area. At the time of accessing, the star has different meaning. That is value at address. At the time of accessing, only star represents the address, value at address. At the time of declaration, star is pointer variable. Star, uh, star refer, refer a pointer variable. Here is a address of value at address because it is accessing area. In previous example, we put uh, star at the time of declaration. So that is uh, that represents the pointer variable. If we put star uh, between two variable or uh, constant, so uh, it it is a multiplication. So based on that location, the meaning will change. At the time of declaration, if you use star at the time of declaration, this is pointer variable. At the time of accessing, we put star before a variable, this is value at address. At the time of calculation, we put star between the two variables are constant. This is called multiplic multiplication. In this program, just to remain uh, integer a equal to 54. So it allocate two bits that 54 is assigned to that location. Um, for uh, example, we assume the address uh, is 200, 200, is that address. But internally, it take the first byte address 200. So print of percentage d, percentage d, percentage is just a. What is a? A, a is 54. It's take, it is a location name. By location, we put percentage d. It display 54. Then and a. What is the meaning of Amberson symbol? Amberson symbol is the address of a. If we put Amberson symbol before the A, we can get address. So, and A, that address in uh, integer format. So, we put percentage D. A is integer, so that only we uh, put percentage, uh, not only uh, If it is a float variable, if we take address, we must give percentage D as a format specification. Because all type of variable, the address of all type of variable is in integer format. So, percentage D and A. What is address of A? 200. So, 200 is display. So, star of and A, and A, that is what is uh, and A, address of A, address of A is 200. If we put star before the address, it, it get value. So, what is the address of uh, value of 200? Value of 200 is 54. It display 54. What is the difference between this first A and last uh, star of and A? N this get the value through location name. Internally, that, the, that location name is only for... Uh, for that is location name for human only. But internally, computer uh, consider only address. So if we uh, give A, computer, refer A, then it get address for A, then it get the value. So it do two operations. One is it get address for A, then get the value from that address. But this, um, uh, we can get only value. But internal process is two uh, operations. One is it, uh, take address, then take value from address. But in this case, it's, we get directly value. So we give address. So compiler directly give the value. So for example, if we want to uh, take a book from a college library, first or, uh, we want to uh, pay the fee in uh, colleges, we uh, give a register number or a roll number. This is very easy to find uh, find our uh, identity. That is, uh, register number is easily uh, easily identified. But if we uh, give name, it is a tedious work. Based on that name, the name are repeated. So uh, name is equal to location name. Address is equal to register number. So this is an example example for address and location name. Use register number to get uh, book in library. This is using address. We get value using address. If we uh, get books by using name. So this is uh, equal to get value by location name. Integer A. So it is an ordinary variable. For example, A equal to 54. That 54 is assigned to that location. A is a location. 54 value at location. 200 is a address. And integer B equal to and A. B is also an ordinary variable. But it has two bytes. 
it has two bytes if you try to assign address of a and a so and a I mean that is 200 is assigned to b the 200 is assigned to b the location size is two bytes the address is in integer format the location is uh, two bytes so uh, easily assigned to that location but it is stored as value it not stored as address because b is a ordinary variable ordinary variable can store only value in this case we assign address to the ordinary variable so it converted into value so ordinary variable can store only value if we try to assign address of another variable that address converted into value the all the character characteristics of address has removed in this case integer star c equal to and a that star c is a pointer variable at the time of declaration if you put star before the variable that variable is a pointer variable so c is a pointer variable equal to and a here we assign address of a in ordinary variable that ordinary variable uh, store only value so the we try to assign uh, address it converted uh, into value all the characteristics of pointers are removed but in this case it is a pointer variable c is a pointer variable the size is also two bytes all integer pointer uh, all pointer variable size is two bytes because all type of variable address is in integer format so integer uh, star c equal to and a that and a uh, what is and a that is 200 the 200 is assigned to c but it is stored as address because c is a pointer variable pointer variable can store address if you try to assign value it convert as address because pointer variable ca can hold only address here we assign address and a and a i mean that is 200 200 is assigned to c that location size is 2 bytes this size is also 2 bytes b size is 2 bytes c size is 2 bytes but b is a ordinary variable it store value only if we try to assign address it converted into value c is a pointer variable it store only address so here we store address so it treat as address the all the characteristics of address is remain remain in that area float b equal to 19.5 so p is a variable name 19.5 is a value it also has some address it is given by um, operating system at the time of booting by the recursion of compiler at the time of execution so that is 600 is a address but it is a float one so the first byte address is 600 it continuously take four bytes that is 600 601 602 603 so that is 19.5 then q is a pointer variable q is a pointer variable all pointer variable size is 2 bytes because all uh, all type of variable address is in integer format so that's why uh, that size is 2 bytes but it is a pointer variable here we say assign address and p p is a ordinary variable we assign address and p and p mean that is address of p is 600 that 600 is assigned here but that 600 is assigned to assigned as address but that address uh, but q is a integer pointer variable p is a float variable integer uh, q is a integer pointer variable but it has two bytes we can store only integer address integer pointer variable can store only integer address if we try to assign float address in integer pointer variable in this case we assign float variable address into integer pointer variable that 600 has converted into integer address not float address integer variable address of integer variable that 600 is assume as the address of integer variable but in our case 600 is the address of float variable at the time of accessing by using q if we access the value value of p by using q we cannot able to take 19.5 that is for it will not access four bytes because it is a integer pointer variable integer pointer variable can hold only address of integer variable in this case we assign float variable address into integer pointer variable so that float variable address has converted into integer pointer variable at the time of accessing by using q it access only two bytes not four bytes so we we want to assign float variable address into 
float pointer variable float star r equal to and p this one is valid because r is also 2 bytes q is also 2 bytes q uh, can also store address r can also store address but q can store address of integer variable r can store address of float variable at the time of accessing so by uh, through we try to access the value through r it take 4 bytes but through q it take only 2 bytes only 2 bytes we cannot uh, able to take 19.5 because 19.5 occupy 4 bytes but in this case if we access the value of uh, p through q it will take 600 601 only so it it will not give the correct value it may be a garbage value but in this case r is a float pointer variable it can store address of float variable so here we assign address of float variable so that is uh, 600 if we access through r it will take 4 bytes so integer pointer variable can hold address of integer variable float pointer variable can hold address of float variable double pointer variable can hold address of double variable so uh, all type of variable address are in integer format all type of pointer variable size is in two bytes but we cannot able to assign another type variable address into other type pointer variable so this is the concept the similarity is there there is all type of variable address is in integer format all pointer variable size is 2 bytes but at the time of assigning it stored as address but at the time of accessing it access based on the type so 2 bytes or 4 bytes based on the data type so we assign integer variable address address of integer variable into integer pointer variable address of float variable into float pointer variable this example that is integer e equal to a equal to 54 star b this is a pointer variable b is a pointer variable integer pointer variable so it can hold address of integer variable b equal to and a so address of a in uh, previous example a address is assumed as uh, 200 so that 200 is assigned to b what will be the output that is a and a b star b so a it is 54 it is a typo it required 4 percentage d because 4 variable is there we want to put another percentage d it is a typing error so output is a 54 and a address of a 200 star b value 200 is 54 the next program integer a equal to 54 star b float c equal to 19.5 star d b equal to and a d equal to and c that is one integer variable integer point variable float variable and float point variable b equal to and a b is a integer point variable here we assign address of integer variable d is a float point variable we assign address of float variable so print of and a and b so in our uh, previous example it is a 700 based on the previous example 200 700 that is a address is 200 b address is 700 so size of b size of d that is a is a a is a the size of b size of d so b is a integer point variable d is a float point variable what is the size 2 bytes because all type of pointer variable is in integer form so it uh, all type of pointer all type of all type of variable uh, the address of all type of variable is in integer so all type of pointer variable can store address only so all type of pointer variable in the size of all type of variable is in is 2 bytes only 
so b is a integer point variable d is a float pointer variable but it uh, gives size of 2 2 bytes because all variable all address uh, that is address of all variable is in integer all pointer variable can hold address so address is in integer format so it required only 2 bytes so it may be any day, any type of pointer b is a integer pointer d is a float pointer but it uh, so 2 bytes d also 2 bytes print up percentage d percentage f at the time of accessing only we put percentage d percentage f here uh, d is a float pointer variable but here we put percentage d because it will give only integer so uh, that's why we put percentage d in this case uh, first percentage d because b b is a 200 value at b 54 so it is an integer value d is a pointer variable so just a d 700 value 700 19.5 so it is, it is a float at the time of accessing only put format specification uh, is stiffer at the time of accessing address it may be any type so we put only percentage d's pointer arithmetic so we can add uh, add the value with pointer variable so we can uh, subtract the value from pointer variable so we, uh, we understand through this example a main character m star ch integer p comma star i float q comma star f that is we assume base address of s is that in the double s this is a array variable so it has uh, it has 20, only three values 14.5, 17.5, 19.5. It is a double uh, array. So we assume the starting address, base address of that array is 200. That is address of S of 0 is 200. Then address of S of 1 is it is a double, so 8 bytes, 208. The 17.5 starting address is 208. And the 19 point is 216. Double star A comma star B. Double star A comma star B. CH equal to undem. I equal to undp. F equal to undq. So, CH is a uh, pointer variable, CH is a character pointer variable, I is a integer pointer variable, F is a float pointer variable. But then, we assign a character variable, address of character variable is assigned to a, a character pointer variable. Address of integer variable address is assigned to I. So, that address is assigned. For example, that is, this is a, a 200. Then, print a percentage D percentage CH IF. So, it display ch display address of m i display address of p f display address of q so what will be the out 500 700 300 just we assume that is ch address is that is m address of m is 500 address of p is 700 address of q is 300 that 500 is assigned to character point variable that 700 is assigned to integer point variable that 300 is assigned to float point variable just in the, in the through this printf it displays 500 700 300 then here we increment ch plus plus because ch i f these are all the pointer variable ch plus mean and that is it is increased by one ch equal to ch plus one ch is a pointer variable it's not a ordinary variable ordinary variable it is a pointer variable it store only address it's not value so it is a address so ch is a character type pointer variable if we add one so it, it jumped to next location. What is the next location? What is the size of character? One byte. So CHS plus plus mean example 500 is a address. CH equal to CH plus one. Uh, five, uh, add one with 500. So it goes to next location. That is 501. I plus plus. It is a pointer variable. What is the size of pointer variable? Two bytes. If you add by add with one, what is uh, I? It is a I is a integer pointer variable. Uh, I hold address of P. That is 700. If we add uh, 1 with 700, it, it go to second lo next location. What is the next location of pointer? 702. 700 is a location, first location. If we add with 1, it go, uh, it, it go to next location. That is 702 because it is a integer address. It is a character address. If we add by 1, it go to next location is that is 1 byte. The size is 1 byte. So it goes to 501. Integer 700. But you add by 1. So it goes to next location. It is a 2 bytes. The size is 2 bytes. 702. The F, F is a float pointer variable. It stored float variable at 300. If you add uh, with, uh, by 1. 
so 300 it, it goes to next location that is 304 because the size of load is 4 bytes so if we add a value with pointer it increase location by location it not value by value so location by location that is 500 is 501 700 702 300 is 304 next case yes, percentage d percentage that it, it display like that 501 702 304 ch equal to ch plus plus 2 here we uh, ch equal to ch plus 2 i equal to i plus 2 f equal to f plus 2 here we give percentage is ch what is the value of ch ch is no output here now for uh, ch plus 2 mean that is already ch is 501 if we add 2 it is 503 only because the, each location has only one byte in 702 i is 702 if we add uh, 2 by uh, 2 with 702 it add two location that is 706 add by 1 704 so add uh, with 2 add with 2 706 a float already uh, that f is 304 if we add uh, 2 with the 304 so 3 uh, 2 mean that is 312 the next 304 next location is the next location of 304 is 308 what is the next location of 308 because it is a float we add 4 bytes so it move next location 2 locations so 3 304 then 2 locations mean 312 so it, it it jump next location only not value if we add 500 with 1 it is a character or it is a 501 if i add 500 plus 2 so it 502 suppose if it is integer uh, integer address if we add uh, 1 702 if we add 2 704 this is a float this is a 300 float address if we add 1 304 if we add 2 308 here a comma b b minus a so here a equal to and s of 0 in a a is a pointer variable this is a double pointer variable b is also a double pointer variable here we assign the address of double locations that is and s of 0 in our case we assume the starting base address of uh, s is 200 so the 200 is assigned to a what is uh, the first location is 200 the second one is 208 because it is a double 200 208 216 so and s of 2 is 216 s of 0 is 200 s of 1 is 208 s of 2 is 216 so a is 200 b is 216 just we put a b that is 200 216 b minus a here we subtract pointer from pointer b is 20 216 in our case b is 216 minus a a is 200 216 minus 200 it will not give 6 216 minus 200 give only two location because it is a double type so the size of double is 8 by so 216 minus 200 the 216 minus 200 it will not give 16 it give only two locations so it give only locations in pointer arithmetic it it, uh, it give only it consider only locations not value we are also compare uh, compare the pointers pointer variable can be compared provided both variable point to elements of same data type same data uh, same type of pointer variable we can compare the same type of pointer variable the static integer arr so this is a one of the array 10 20 30 67 56 so integer star i star j in this case integer star i star j it is integer type of pointer variable i equal to and ar of 4 it is a valid one because it is a array array is integer type ar of 4 0 first location second location third four that is a fourth location for example uh, that that address is 200 for assume the starting address 200 mean this integer 200 202 204 206 208 the last one is 208 so and ar of 4 is 208 that 208 is assigned to i because i is a integer pointer variable so k equal to arr plus 4 arr is also refer the starting address of that array and arr of 0 is equal to arr if we give arr it is also refer the starting address of that array and arr of 0 is also refer the starting address so both are same if you put and arr of 0 or arr 
in this case just ARR what is the ARR in our case we assume uh, the starting location is 200 so 200 plus 4 as per the point arithmetic it is an integer type so it jump 4 locations that is 400 plus 4 locations is 8 because each location 2 bits so 400 plus 8 408 that 408 is assigned to k so k k is 408 i is that is 208 ARR is a 200, 200 plus 208, K is 208, I is 200. Here we, uh, if we compare two, two pointer variable, but uh, both are uh, same data, data types. So we can compare it. We cannot be able to compare integer pointer variable with float pointer variable. We can compare the, compare, we can compare both variables point to element of the same data type. So I and K or integer pointer variable we can compare so what is uh, in our case uh, i is 200 k is 208 so 200 equal 208 the condition is false so it not equal it display not equal so then this output is a previous example output this is this is also typo just we uh, believe it so the output of this uh, program is not equal so we can compare the two pointer variable but that two variables should be in same data type we compare two pointer variable two pa two pointer variable but that that should be in same data type so pointer arithmetic that is valid and invalid what are the valid uh, what will be the invalid so pointer plus value we can add value with pointer. In previous case, just uh, pointer variable, for example, b is a pointer variable, uh, ch is a pointer variable, we put ch plus plus, ch equal to C, ch plus 2. So it increases uh, two locations. So pointer plus value, we can add value with pointer. We can subtract value from pointer. We can subtract pointer from pointer. In uh, previous example also, we, we subtract pointer from pointer and pointer comparison we compare pointer comparison so we can uh, not uh, only equal to we put uh, greater than less than greater than or equal to, less than or equal to it will work and the uh, in, in pointer comparison we can give all type of uh, relational operator so invalid these are invalid we cannot able to add pointer plus pointer because uh, pointer has one address and another pointer also has one address so if we add two uh, address it will uh, may be out of the range it will cross the out of the range so it cause error so we uh, we don't add pointer with pointer we cannot able to multiply value with pointer it is also reach the range so pointer star pointer even pointer with uh, we, we cannot able to add pointer plus pointer it will reach mean so we cannot able to multiply pointer with uh, pointer so pointer plus pointer is not possible pointer Multiplication uh, by value is also invalid. Pointers are pointer invalid. We cannot be able to divide pointer by value. Even pointer uh, division is not possible. Multiplication and division is not possible in pointer arithmetic. In addition, we cannot be able to add two pointer. We can add value with pointer. But in subtraction, we can subtract value from pointer we can subtract pointer from pointer in, uh, both multiplication and division division we cannot do pointer into uh, uh, pointer with value pointer with pointer is not possible uh, in multiplication and division dynamic memory allegation so what uh, what is a dynamic memory allegation in previous cases if a uh, tickler uh, the, uh, in, uh, the syntax of c is the rule of uh, c programming structure first we tickler the variable then we um, define the statements then we give the statements after the declaration only statements so after the statements we cannot able to tickler this is the structure of c that is the rule of c programming first we tickler the array variable for example if we declare integer a of 10 it allocate 10 locations at the time of execution we cannot change the 10 location at the time of execution we we require only three only five locations the remaining five location the memory of remaining five locations is 
is not used it unnecessarily allocated if if we at the time of execution if we need more than 10 that is 15 locations we cannot uh, uh, use 15 locations it, it is a fixed one at the time of declaration if we give integer a of 10 it allocate only at the time of execution it allocate only 10 locations we can use or we uh, if we use or not use it's not a problem but it, it allocate only 10 by 10 locations if we use 5 locations the remaining 5 will be waste if we use uh, more than 10 it is not possible so in array we cannot change the array size during the program execution this type of memory allocation is called static memory allocation at the time of declaration we declare fixed locations only we cannot modify at the time of execution this kind of memory allocation is static memory allocation by using m allocate c alloc function the two function is there m allocation so uh, c alloc by using uh, two functions we can increase or decrease the size of the memory at the time of execution this type of memory allocation is called dynamic memory allocation at the time of execution we can reduce or increase the memory location as per the user requirement so this kind of memory allocation is dynamic memory allocation that is we allocate memory on the fly at the time of execution dynamically so that's why it called as dynamic memory allocation so the difference uh, two function is there in, in c language we can uh, allocate uh, memory by dynamically we can allocate memory at the time of execution that is time we can allocate dynamic memory allocation through two functions m allocation and uh, c allocation what is the difference between m allocation and c allocation so in uh, m allocation c allocation m allocation has only one argument at the time of function calling so we uh, pass only one argument in m allegation but c allegation we pass two arguments then continuous memory allegation through uh, if we declare uh, memory allegation through m alloc so it allocate continuous memory location if uh, if it is not available continuously it will give insufficient memory error so it continuously allocate memory in the c allegation discontinuous memory allegation it, it split the require locations it, it may be more than one if you want to allocate 100 bytes it first allocate 50 bytes in one locations then allocate another 50 bytes in another memory locations it is discontinuous memory location so this is a continuous memory location if we need 100 bytes it's uh, it, it should available in a same area continuous area but in c allocation it, may, it will split it the third difference is default value is car value that under if we declare a memory through m allegation the default value the initial value of that variable is car value that is unpredictable value if we declare a memory that is if we allocate memory through c allegation the initial value that is default value is zero this is the difference so based on the difference if we want to declare more memory we use c allegation if we want to declare less memory we use m allegation so this is an example for uh, dynamic application main integer a v g comma n i star p sum equal to zero these are the variable uh, print of enter the number of cells through this program we get we get the different uh, number of cells then we find the average of cells so we get the number of uh, number of uh, that is we get get input as sales quantity we get sales quantities then we get average for the sales quantity this is a program so here we declare dynamically that is print of enter the number of sales we get n based on that input it allocate memory at the time at the time of execution that is on the fly it allocate the memory if we give uh, 10 it allocate location 10 locations if we give 20 it allocate 20 location at the time of execution it's not a fixed one it is a dynamic one so if we uh, put 5 for example if we put enter the number of cells it will display if we put 5 so the value of n is 5 p equal to integer star m alloc we, here we use m alloc function m alloc function has only one argument here 5 pi star 2 because we need to uh, allocate location for integer so here we put 2 if we want to get 
float value here we put 4 double mean we give, uh, we give 16 and that is 8 so in our case we get integer value only so 5 integer value that is enter the number of cells 5 5 into 2 so it pass only one value in our case the value of n is 5 5 into 2 10 the value 10 is passed to the mlock function it is a inbuilt function library function so it, it passed 10 so it allocate 10 bytes here we put 5 5 into 2 10 it allocate 10 bytes that 10 uh, it allocate 10 bytes by the help of operating system so it has some address 10 bytes each and every byte has address but internal process it get to only starting location address starting address for example in our case 200 we assume that is 200 it allocate totally 10 bytes so 200 to 209 200 201 is a first location 202 203 is a second location so it allocate 200 to 209 but it written starting address it allocate 10 bytes but it written the starting byte address 200 so the it, it written only generic generic type of address generic address generic address mean it is a type plus address it written type plus address because m allocation is not only to allocate integer variable integer for uh, look, uh, integer variable so m allocation is not only to allocate memory for integer variable it's suitable for all data types so it designed like it written generic address that is type plus address if we, if we here we put 4 see so allocate uh, 5 into 4 20 bytes so it's written the starting uh, address of starting byte but that address is not uh, uh, specific address, uh, specific type. It is a type plus. Then we convert it into float. But in our case, we allocate to store integer value. So we convert integer star. So m allocate function written type plus address. Here we type casting into integer address. That integer address is assigned to p. So p is uh, hold the address. In our case, 200. The 200 is type plus at the time of returning. Then it, it converted, it converted into integer address. Then that integer address is assigned to integer pointer variable. If, if we want to allocate float, here we put star 4. Then it return type plus address. Here we convert float star. Then this pointer variable should be float pointer variable. But in, the, in our case, through this example, we get, uh, we get only integer value. We want to allocate for integer uh, values. We allocate memory for integer value. So integer pointer will p equal to it written type plus address then it converted into integer address it hold p if p equal to null if no memory that is memory allocation is failure the no memory is available it had any any issues the memory is not allocated it will return null null is here null pointer represent the no address that is no allocated the zero is here 0 represent the no value, null represent the no address. So it will not allocate, it return null. The p hold null. p equal to null. The condition is true. Suppose if it is written, the, the memory allocation failure, it will return null. That null is assigned to p. The p hold null. Null equal to null condition true. Memory allocation failure exit. It come out the program. Because without the memory allocation, we cannot able to take the value, we cannot able to do the processing, we cannot able to get the output. So here, uh, here we, so uh, never, uh, if, if allocate the memory, for example, it, it allocate 10 bytes, 10 bytes, it return 200. It is a type address, it converted an integer address, then it assigned to p. So p is a 200. 200 equal to null condition false. It skip the if statement. Then it execute 5 times because n is a 5. i equal to 0. p plus i. What is the value of p? 200. 200 plus 0, 200. So scan of we put ampersand symbol. If it is a ordinary variable, but it is a pointer variable. It already it, it, it give address. So we don't put ampersand symbol for the variable in scan of because p is a 200. 200 plus 0, 200. So it get a value and stored it into the location of address 200. 
So, for example, 20. 20 is assigned to the location of 200. Then the loop is continued. The i is increased by 1. The new value of i is 1. P is 200. 200 plus 1. It skip next location because P is here integer point variable. It skip to next location. 200 plus 1, 202. So the 202. So it get another value. 30. That 30 is assigned to the location of 200. That is 202. Then I is 2. 200 plus 2, 204. The 50 is assigned to the location of 204. Then 206. The 208. So at the time I value is 5. 5 less than 5. The condition false. It's come out. So it get 5 values. It assigned to that same memory location. The memory location continuously. Then we get the value. Sum equal to sum plus star. So this is also typo. Here we put star of p plus i. Here we put star of p plus i. Just we put like this. But we put star. Star of p plus i. First p is a 200. The first value i is 0. Uh, 200 plus 0, 200. The value at 200, 20. The 20 is assigned to sum. The default value of sum is 0. So it is add 20. Then it continue i 1. So uh, star of p plus i. That is 200 plus 1, 202. The value 202, 30. 30 is added with existing value 20. Then 50 is uh, assigned to sum. Then it continue. Then star of p plus 2. That is 204, 206, 208. That it get the all value. Then uh, it add with sum. So uh, it, it come out after the fifth loop. It, it come out. The summation of 5 values that is 20, 30, 50, 100, uh, 200. So the summation of uh, 5 values the 200 is assigned in sum. So uh, after uh, come out the loop the value of sum is 200. 200 by n, n is 5. So 200 plus 5 40. The 40 is assigned to AVG. So it uh, display average sales equal to 40. If we put 20 it allocate 20 locations. If you put 50, it allocates 50 locations. So this is the dynamic memory allocation. We can change this statement by using C allocation. This is also possible. P equal to integer star C alloc n comma 2. Here we pass two arguments. This is number of location. Then if it is integer, we put 2. Float 4. Here we pass uh, only one value. But n star 2. But it yield only one value. We pass one value. Here we pass two value. So why we pass the two value? Because it is a discontinuous memory allocation. If continuously the memory is available in continuous, it allocate. Otherwise, it will give null. But in, in, uh, in this case, it may be a discontinuous. The memory location, the required memory available in discontinuous location, it allocate, it will give the address. So then only we give two arguments, the 5 comma 2. For example, 6 bytes is there. So three locations. Because each location has two. So six bytes is in uh, one location. Remaining four bytes is in other locations. So then only uh, that's only we um, we pass. That only we pass two arguments. That is n comma two. Pointer wise array. So um, sometimes pointers and arrays characters are in similar, but it, it's not. Arrays and pointers in some cases may be similar, but it has some difference. What are the difference? Just uh, through, through this example, we come to the conclusion. I mean static character A of 6 equal to Apple. So it is a character array A of 6. This is the, the uh, this is a memory mapping for that array. That is Apple. It stored A of 0, A of 1, A of 2 because it is a character location. So it has only 1 by 200, 201, 205. So uh, the, at the time of declaration, the, uh, the backslash 0 is a last character because it is a string terminator. So it, uh, this is Apple. This is address. Then character star s equal to Apple. This is also valid one. This is a pointer variable. This is a array variable. This is a pointer variable. It is also assigned because S, S has only two bytes. It may be a character or integer float. All pointer variable size is two bytes. So it allocate two bytes. The name of S. Uh, then S equal to Apple. Then the Apple is assigned in any uh, memory. So the starting address is assigned to the 300 because the size of S is only two bytes. So it assigned in any location, in any available location, Apple. Then the starting address 300 is assigned, assigned here. 
If you put a print of the A, percentage yes, A, percentage yes, yes. The A is also display like apple. S yes is also display apple. In this case, both are same. But this example, static character is A of 6, apple. Character star S, apple. A, yes. A display A, apple, S, yes, apple. In a previous program, we discussed that. So, apple, this is also apple. Here we put A plus plus, S plus plus. It cause error. We cannot be able to change the base address of that array. You know, what is the meaning of A plus plus? A equal to A plus 1. What is the A? The base address of that array. Example 200. 200 plus 1. A equal to A plus 1. 200 plus 1. 201. That 201 is assigned to A. So the starting address will change as 201. Then next address is 201. So each and every bit has unique address. So we cannot be able to change. This one is 201. Because already 201 is there. It is occupied by P. We cannot be able to change the base address of that array. So it causes error. But S plus is, it is possible because it is a pointer variable. S plus plus equal to S equal to S plus 1. That is 300. It is a character type. So in the next location just add 1 byte only. So 300 plus 1, 301. So the new value of S is 301. If we print from uh, S, it display PPLE only. Just to cut in a 301. If you print print up percentage yes comma comma yes, it display PPLE. It does not just cut A because it starts from 301, end with backslash 0. So it cause error. We cannot be able to change the base address of array. But we can change the address of pointer variable.